I can't wait to go home. G'day guys, my name's Dave Trent and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in today's lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran. Shortly after the release of the song, Ed Sheeran did a live performance on BBC of this song. If you haven't seen that, then check it out here. In this video, I'm going to teach you two different ways of playing it. The first way I'm going to teach you how to play it is the way he plays it live in that video. I will note though that the way he plays it live differs a little bit from the actual recorded version. So the second way I'll teach you how to play it will fit more closely to the studio version. Both methods will use the exact same chords, the only thing that will differ are the strumming patterns involved. So for this song we need to know five chord shapes and there's no bar chords here. If you want to master your chords back to front then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. So the five chord shapes are D, then we have D slash F sharp, and the way Ed Sheeran plays this is he takes his index finger, puts it on the 2nd fret of the 6th string, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string, and ring finger here on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. And the 1st string can just be muted, but your 5th and 4th strings should be open. And that's D slash F sharp. We have G. Then we have B minor 7 sharp 5, but for the rest of the video I'll just refer to it as a B minor 7. So to play that, from this G shape, it will take your index and your middle finger off, and your index finger will go on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, and your middle finger will go on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string. And you're not going to hit the 6th string, that's going to be muted. An easy way of muting that is just taking your thumb and reaching over and lightly touching that string. That's B minor 7, sharp 5. And then we have A7 sus 4. So from this chord shape, you'll leave your ring and pinky fingers where they are on that 3rd fret. And you'll take your index finger and just bar it across the 4th and 3rd strings of the 2nd fret. Again, you'll be plucking from the 5th string onwards. That's A7 sus 4. Alright, so let's start with the live version. And before we get stuck into the chord structures, I'm going to teach you the strumming pattern that's used basically throughout the whole song for this live version. The strumming pattern is just eight down strums, all eighth notes, so it goes one and two and three and four and. And the thing that's really going to define this strumming pattern are the accents in this strumming pattern. So there's an accent on the one beat, the end beat after the two, and the four beat. What I mean by accent is that you'll just be playing those strums a bit harder. And then for the rest of the strums, you can just concentrate more on the bass notes of the chord. So it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and... And a bit faster. One and two and three and four and... And that's it for the strumming pattern for the whole song. For the majority of the song though, it's actually going to be palm muted. Except for the accents. So to palm mute, you'll take the fleshy bit of your palm and you'll just rest it lightly on the bridge here. Too far in, and your strings won't ring out at all. So you need it right on the edge. So for the accents, you can strum the strings normally, but then for the rest of the strums, put your palm down and palm mute them. So one and two and three and four and, and in succession, one and two and three and four and, one and two and three and four and, and that's the strumming pattern that's used throughout the whole song for this live version. Alright, so let's start with the verse chords, which are actually the same as the chorus chords as well. The only thing that will differ is that in the chorus we're not palm muting. So the verse and chorus are a 5 chord chord progression that goes D, D slash F sharp, G, B minor 7, and finally A7 sus 4. Now up here in the annotations you'll see chords in between brackets. Anything that's within one set of brackets means that it's played for one strumming pattern. So you'll notice that the D and the D slash F sharp are within one strumming pattern. And that's because the D slash F sharp is just played for two strums. The four beat and the end beat are all that's played for the D slash F sharp. So that strumming pattern will sound like this. 
One and two and three and four and and a bit faster. One and two and three and four and and then the last three chords are played for one full strumming pattern each. So in total, the verse strumming pattern, palm muted, will sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And, four and a bit faster. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. For the chorus, you're not palm muting, so it'd sound like this. One and two. One thing that I will point out is that this D slash F sharp is optional. For the beginners out there who are having trouble changing from the D, D slash F sharp really quickly and then going to the G, you can just play the D and then go to the G. You could skip that D slash F sharp if you wanted to. And it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and one. Now moving on to the pre-chorus and we have two lines of chords. The first line of chords is a G, then we have A7 sus4, D, and then back to G. Each chord is going to be played for one palm muted strumming pattern and that line is played twice as well. The second line of chords we just have G for one strumming pattern and then we have A7 sus4 and that's just held out once, there's no strumming pattern for that chord. And altogether, the pre-chorus will sound like this. Alright, now there's only one thing left to learn and that's the bridge. The bridge chord progression is just a four chord chord progression, really nice and easy. And we start on the B minor 7, and then we go to G, and then D, and A7, sus4. And again, we're going to use the palm muted strumming pattern here, and the bridge will just sound like this. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the studio version is a tiny bit different and the only thing that differs is the timing of the chord changes. So I'm going to teach you some other strumming patterns that you can use if you want to play along to the studio recorded version. The chord progressions themselves will remain exactly the same. Alright, so for the verse and chorus of the studio version, we're going to have a strumming pattern that goes like this. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, and in succession. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now one full chord progression, those five chords, is going to fit within two strumming patterns. So up here in the annotations you'll see where the chords need to change exactly. The first D slash F sharp is going to occur on the first up strum, and then the G will be on the next up strum. So for the first strumming pattern, we go like this. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then for the B minor 7 to the A sus4, you'll go to the A sus4 on the second up strum of that strumming pattern. And in total, the full chord progression. Down, 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 up, down. timing of those chord changes will match the studio version much more accurately than how Ed Sheeran plays it live. Now for the pre-chorus we have the exact same chords but the strumming pattern that I'm going to suggest here for the studio version will go something like this. 
down, 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 up, down, up. And you'll play that once for each chord. So the pre-chorus for the studio version will sound like this. And finally, for the bridge of the studio version, my suggestion for the strumming pattern will be down, down, up, up, down, up. And you play that once for each chord. Notice that none of these strumming patterns for the studio version are palm muted. So the bridge will sound like this. So now I'm going to do two playthroughs of the song. The first version will be how Ed Sheeran plays it live in the BBC performance. And the second playthrough will more closely align to the studio recorded version. So feel free to play these back as many times as you'd like to practice, play along to, and see how you go. When I was six years old, I broke my leg. And I was running from my brother and Did the sweet perfume of the mountain grass I rolled down I was younger then Take me back to when I found my heart And broke it here Made friends and lost them through the years And I've not seen the boring fields in so long
six years old I broke my leg And I was running from my brother and his friends And tasted the sweet perfume of the mountain grass I rolled down I was younger then Take me back to when Found my heart and broke it here Made friends and lost it through the years And I've not seen the boring fields in so long I know I've grown But I can't wait to go home Fifteen years old and smoking hand-rolled cigarettes Running from the law through the back fields and Getting drunk with my friends And my first kiss on a Friday night I don't reckon that I did it right I was younger then Take me back to when we found to go home. friend left to sell clothes One works down by the coast One had two kids but lives alone One's brother overdosed One's already on his second wife One's just barely getting by But these people raised me and I Can't wait to go home And I'm on my way still remember these old country lanes when we did not know the answers Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. I've also done a tutorial for Ed's other new single, Shape of You, so if you want to check that out, then just click the annotation here or click the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed this and you want to see more in the future, then hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click the little notification bell next to the subscribe button just so you don't miss out on any updates as well. It would mean so much if you hit that like button, leave your thoughts, comments and questions or requests below and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers guys. And now take my hand, stop, put the man on the jukebox and then we start to dance and now I'm singing like girl you know I want your love, your love was handmade for somebody like me, come on now follow my lead.